So, I think accessibility is just a way to empower inclusion, right? You, there are over a billion people in the world, over 70% of disabilities are visible. You may never know that you have an employee on your team, in your company, that has a disability. Um, and if we can really inclusively build these features into our products and use the expertise of people with disabilities, one, we're going to get better products, we're going to innovate in a crazy way, and more importantly, we, in some ways, you're going to really build inclusion just into the fabric. Um, easy for someone who needs captioning to just switch on captioning. Easy for someone who needs a screen reader to just switch it on. Um, no barriers, uh, which I think just gives us a different playing field. That, that's my hope. I, I would love for us, through the work, to be able to change an unemployment rate that hasn't materially shifted in 30 years. What do I say to people who say this is a cost? So I try and keep a straight face, first of all, because it's, that's clearly poppycock. Um, it's not, that's not true at all. I, this is an investment. This is something that you need to do to ensure that your product works for everyone who's going to use your product, whether it's a website, a document, a, a, a SharePoint, whatever it may be. There's no way that any one of us would want to feel that we are excluding a segment of the population from using something you produce. And if you don't invest in accessibility, that's what you're going to do. Um, so it, it really is a get it done um, from my perspective. And uh, I more question the fact that why it hasn't been included at the beginning of the design cycle. And then it's not part of a cost. It's not part of something uh, that crops up in that way. It becomes part of building a better product. So I think inclusive design really informs us of innovation opportunities. I think if we, and we've been doing this with some of our products, you know, the, the suite of Office 365, the platform of Windows 10 has been informed by people with disabilities. So in the latest release, just this October of Windows 10, we saw color blindness filters, color filters into the fabric of the operating system of Windows 10. Um, there's one in nine people who have color blindness. And now you can just put on a filter and off you go. We've also got the ability to control windows with your eyes. Thanks to our work with people with ALS or MND. So it's those opportunities, those innovations would never have really cropped up if it wasn't for us really believing in the power of inclusive design. So I, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a fun time for us. Um, and I think we've tapped the edge of an iceberg and there's a lot more for us to do. Um, but it's kind of fun.